Welcome back to Banfield. A terrifying accident that has everybody asking a Virginia woman the same question. How on earth are you still alive? Jordan Hatmaker was skydiving in November when the worst thing that could happen did happen. Her chute didn't open and neither did her backup. The plane was more than 13,000 feet above the ground when she jumped and she hit the ground at about 80 miles an hour. She suffered several horrific injuries, but somehow, and that is the big question, she is still alive and she joins me now live. Uh, Jordan Hatmaker, thank you so much for, for being with me tonight. First of all, I'm so glad you are here with me. Uh, thank God for that. Yeah. This is five months to the day, as I understand it today. It's five months to the day since the accident. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for having me on. I'm doing great. Never felt better I'm glad to be alive. To hear it. <laughs> well, right. I mean, I'm sure you have felt better in your life, but certainly never better uh, than, than, than being alive. So how did you survive that fall? Like, have doctors explain to you or are they confounded by the fact that you survived it? You know, they they think it's really a miracle as well. Um, it's really unexplainable. Uh, I just thank God every day that I'm alive. So it's all I can attribute it to really. Yeah, and, and it wasn't like you were uh, a novice, right? This wasn't like your first time. You had jumped, I think, what, 16 or so times before? So you knew the drill um, when this was, was happening. So what was the first thing that went through your mind when all of a sudden at 4,000 feet, there was an uh-oh? Well, in the skydiving world, 16 jumps isn't very many, but um, so I was still definitely a student, but I knew something was wrong immediately upon uh, pulling my, my chute um, when it wrapped around my leg and you just uh, kind of go in strategy mode, you know, how, what can I do to get out of this situation? And so um, I didn't really have time to panic or be scared. I, I just tried to get myself out of the situation, which um, unfortunately I wasn't able to do. So, that, you know, I, I don't skydive, but I know that there's always a backup. There's that reserve chute, but that one didn't work either. Uh, I would think at that moment, I mean, a million different expletives, but what did you think at the moment you realized there's no reserve shoot either? Um, so I, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there was like, you know, some article that said there wasn't a reserve shoot. The reserve shoot actually did fire. Um, however, when the reserve shoot fired out of uh, the AAD, which is um, the autom automated device that's in your backpack um, rig, uh, it created um, what's called a down plane. It, it made my main parachute pop out at the same time. It like wiggled it loose from its bag and then they uh, pulled away from each other in the air and then dragged me down in kind of a spiral motion. And once you realized that was, that was it, um, there was not going to be any shoot that was going to slow your descent. You had one minute. Um, what were the thoughts that went through your head? And what, like, I don't even, I can't think of what else you were planning or thinking or whether you were resigned or calm. What were you for that minute? Um, I was just calm. Uh, like I said, I, I really just, I just wanted to, you go into a uh, flight or fight. Um, no pun intended, I guess. Um, since I wasn't flying, I was fighting. So, uh, yeah, I just went into survival mode and I was just trying to be as calm as possible. But um, once I hit the ground and I couldn't get up or feel anything below my waist, I uh, that's when the panic started to set in. But th listen, Jordan, that's the other amazing part of it is that you ha you can recall these details. You never did go unconscious, right? You you were aware of every single moment, even hitting the ground. Like, how did you hit? in a way that saved your life? I think that one of the things that did save my life was that I hit with um, my leg first. Uh, my left leg hit the ground first um, and then my, uh, my bottom and then I kind of toppled forward. So my left leg um, broke the fall. And I think that that was um, really one thing that saved me. And were you, simply amazed that you were alive at that point? Or did you think you were dead and in heaven? I mean, what, what were your thoughts when you realized I just survived 4,000 feet of free fall? 
I didn't realize how significant everything was until until really everybody um, was surrounding me and stabilizing me and a helicopter landed and I I was just like wow this is a lot more serious than I think it mm. is and yeah so so, so the big scary. question Jordan is are you ever going to skydive again I know my family's watching right now but <laughs> they know me and um I lived my life to the fullest I'm not going to let um something like this uh slow me down or keep me from doing things that i love so i'll likely skydive again one day man i can't believe it please don't blame me for this family oh lord um i, for, I couldn't believe it when i saw that you'd done a 10 mile hike recently i'm just so i'm so amazed by you i'm so inspired by you but mostly i'm really just glad jordan that you're um that you're alive and smiling and you're just a wonderful person. Thank you for doing this. There's, there's a reason you. the good guys do finish first. Thanks, Jordan. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.